part four project a student can choose to do in the fourth year. Two students are working together for two semesters on a certain topic doing research in that area. And that's a great opportunity uh, to, to learn um, how to do research. For sure they are under supervision and guided, but this is a very important qualification besides the method and technologies we teach, that you are capable to dive into any new topics on your own. Our Part 4 project is a hybrid UAV designed to be capable of two distinct flight modes. One of the main challenges with UAVs that are commonly available is they either excel in very high efficient flight or they excel in maneuverability. So our design is supposed to bridge that gap and allow for both of these flight modes to be achieved effectively. A vehicle that is capable of hovering which keeps its high maneuverability and is also capable of extending its flight time by deploying its wing and fly in a fixed wing mode. My project is looking into the evaluation of audio virtual reality using two sound reproduction systems for replicating speech perception in the real world. Audio virtual reality can really help us form listening tests in one single space. So instead of going to different places such as the chapel and a seminar room, you can perform listening tests in just one controlled lab environment. We have a lot of opportunities for students to engage with industry because they provide very good problems for us to solve. Problems like how we automate construction, how we provide new robots that can perform environmental inspection, how we analyze the structural stability of buildings, and many other real society problems. My part four project is on the wind disturbance rejection on over-actuated drones uh, using model predictive control. We want to be able to apply this drone in an outdoor windy environment such that the drone can stabilize itself. What our project could be used for is actually interacting with the environment in the outdoors. You have wind disturbances that can act on it and destabilize it and so what our control can help to do is make those interactions a little bit safer and a little, a little better. My part four project is on making human drone interaction easier. You can also mount like a camera onto the drone and then um, position the drone exactly where you want something filmed. The practical use, we're trying to keep it nice and broad for industrial applications as well. So it's not limited to just human drone physical interaction. We also have interaction with inanimate objects. So for example, an in industry could have like inspection, power line inspection, or if it's going to be carrying any um, like particular some manufacturing object. We regularly find new recruits when we come to the final year project day. I've personally had one of my colleagues say, I looked at a project with some young guys who are already doing exactly what we do in our business, and uh, this guy doesn't have a job yet. We should offer him one. <laughs> and we did. <laughs> <laughs>